Lazy Dude 99. I am a Batman fan. And I'm a Canadian man. I do top 10 lists. Night catch up Everyone and welcome to my review of Brightest Day Volume 1. Now, the Brightest Day books are about what happens to the 12 characters that are returned from their graves at the end of Blackest Night. The thing that this book addresses is, why these characters? Why are both these villains and heroes returning from the grave? Why were they brought back? And most of all, is there an actual story here or is it just an excuse to bring back certain characters that were dead? The ones who were brought back are Aquaman, the Martian Manhunter, Hawkman and Hawkgirl, Captain Boomerang, Maxwell Lord, Firestorm, the Reverse Flash, Jade, Hawk, Osiris, and perhaps the oddest choice to be brought back, Dead Man. It's kind of odd because the guy didn't really even become a character in comics till after he was dead. So, it's kind of odd to see who would to come back. Now believe it or not, I was actually a fan of Dead Man before this comic book. Quick story, I like the Dead Man name for some reason. It was just a name that I came up with for my sports games that I would make a character and call him Dead Man. But um, yeah, so I liked the name and one day I looked it up and I found out that he was a comic book character. So I look him up on Wikipedia and I find out all about him and I kind of became a fan of him and started liking the character. So I knew of his name, I knew he was Boston Brand, I knew everything about him before I actually started seeing him in comic books. He always shows up here and there in comic books, but was never really a huge part of the story. He'd just be a character that would show up for a little bit. But here he takes center stage. But here he takes center stage, and I was happy to see that. You see, when all of these guys are brought back, they were given a white ring to you know, be alive. And Dead Man is the only one that still is, has a white ring because after they came back to life, everyone else, the white ring disappeared. But Dead Man still has it on and it is talking to him. And he is being communicated by the being of life known as the Entity, which we saw Necron hurt in The Blackest Night. And he is dying and he has sent Dead Man to find someone who can replace him in the world. And all, everyone else is brought back for a different reason. And even though you're kind of told what reason they are, you don't know what steps are going to be taken to go to those certain places. So the story kind of starts with Dead Man doing a Ghost of Christmas Past thing, you know, by the ring taking him to all of these people individually. And he's looking at them now alive and seeing what they're doing, who are they... Who are they spending their time with? What are their plans are now that they're brought back? What are they going to do? Like, Hawk just goes straight out back into the battle. He's thinking, you know, I'm back. I need to t teach these punks, these stinking criminals, another lesson. You know, he, he doesn't waste any time. Um, Aquaman goes back to his wife and spend time with her. And everyone has different things that they're doing. And we see Dead Man going to each of these different places and they're not able to see him and he sees what they're doing what they're up to and this is just really my favorite part of the book just him going to all these different guys and seeing what they're up to well guys and girls or some girls who are brought back uh but you know just seeing what they're doing and there's a lot of good moments in this my favorite moment is between the flash and captain boomerang and just because i want to i'm just gonna kind of play act this part of the story Good day. Why was it night, mate? I can never tell from down here. Day boomerang. Eight o'clock. In the morning? What the hell you want? I'm sorry about your son. <laughs> Welcome to the family business. Hey, out of all the people that were buried six feet under, 
you got a second chance, Digger. You get to live again. And I wish I could say that you'll turn over a new leaf, but I know you. I know what you're going to do, so I came here to tell you not to bother. Bother doing what, mate? Trying to pull more jobs. To hurt more people. To make me run after you. There was this film some years back. Won all sorts of awards. It's about this bloke, this banker, who was convicted of killing his wife. Twist is, he was innocent. But they never let him out. Bloody good flick. You see it? I missed a few movies. Gosh, yeah. And if you're trying to plead innocent, no, it's not about that. It's about how a man with nothing to lose have two choices. Either you get busy living, or you get busy dying. Why me? Not my son. Or cold sister, or your ridiculous friendly elongated man. Hell if I know. But I'm not going to sit here and let that rot my brain. Is that a threat? <laughs> no, mate. It's a flashback. So the thing that kind of bothered me with this is it's really just a setup book. So there are no real big parts of the story to come out of it. I mean, you see what they're doing and what their plans are and how they're reacting to being alive again. But there isn't much story. You see the starts of the story, but you, it's only the beginning. And I know, I know it's volume one, but you know maybe maybe it's because I haven't read all the rest. I've only read volume two. And so I don't know how much story is going to be in here. So maybe maybe just fitting most of the setup into just the first volume and having the rest be the story is, you know, it's normal maybe. But I mean, there isn't really something driving the story except for Dead Man. I mean, it isn't bad that it's a setup, but it's just a little aggravating to know that the real story is going to happen in a different book. And, you know, you feel like... Why did, I, why did I put my money on you when the real stuff is going to happen later on? But still, it is one of those stories where you probably should get this before you get the second volume. So, Dead Man goes through this journey. And it's very interesting that this ring keeps on telling them that he's been dead so long. That he, you know, he needs to find a reason why he should want to live again. And he does it in some of the most drastic but funny ways. Um... So, like, one of the ways that the ring tries to teach him how to live again is he just, poof, teleports him right in front of the Anti-Monitor. This thing that has destroyed entire universes just plops him right in front of him and says, fight. <laughs> and Dead Man's like, what the heck, man? You know, he's like, I have no idea what to do here. You just plop me right in front of the Anti-Monitor. You want me to die again? This is probably the quickest way to do it. Um, you know, that's, it's kind of, it's funny, but, you know, he also, um, the rings, every, everything the ring does is to make a point and to help him, you know, work. So there are, of course, there's a lot of different character arcs that start in this story. John Jones finds out there, there is another Green Martian alive, and it's kind of going around killing people. It's been alive for, it came to Earth really before John Jones. It's, eh, I'm not really a big fan of that story, but yeah, it, there's another Green Martian around. Uh, Aquaman finds out that his wife has been lying to him their whole lives. I won't say what she was lying about, but uh, Hawkman and Hawkgirl end up in another dimension called Hawkworld, and they're separated, and Car Carter is trying to find her, and she's uh, captured by Hathset, the guy who ends up killing them whenever they reincarnate into something else. But one of the more interesting carry arcs is the one that they focus a lot of this is um it's on firestorm see it, it is one of the more interesting character arcs. see ronnie raymond is the old firestorm who died and came back but as a black lantern ronnie killed the girlfriend of the new firestorm jason but now the only way either of them can be firestorm is when they're molded with each other and once they are connected, it almost seems like they are. it's impossible for them to disconnect. And they're hearing voices in their heads that seems to be coming from something else that's possibly in their heads. So, you know, it's very interesting how they work. I, I just like how Jason is really wants nothing to do with Ronnie. 
And, and they're kind of two opposite parallels. Jason is the guy who's always studying the books. He's always the one to be the the studier. You know, he he's the one that is he's a bookworm basically. And Ronnie is the party boy. And they have to combine together, and their two personalities kind of clash. But they're gonna have to work together, or else. Well, I'll save that for my review in Volume Two. So, Jade, Boomerang, Maxwell Lord, Osiris, and the Reverse Flash don't seem to have much to do in this story. I mean, you see them for once at the beginning with Dead Men going around, and then once at the end when the ring tells all of them what they're supposed to do. Um, I don't know if that's because their story arcs aren't really told in the Brightest Day books, and they're told in other comics that don't have don't connect to here, I don't know. That's probably my guess, um, but, but don't quote me on that. Um, if it isn't, then I think, well, you brought back these characters, you gotta do something with them, but I think from what I've seen that their, their um, missions and objectives are stuff written by other writers in, another, in other comic books around. Hawk and Dove um, tag along with Dead Man, looking for its new protector. And this this story is a very open story, and it leaves you very curious over what you think is going to happen next. So I guess that's really all I have to say about this book. It is fun, and there's pretty it's pretty darn good art on this. I, I guess I should talk about the art. Um, it's really good. I mean, some of the it, like some of the moments you're just like, man, it's nothing. But a lot of them you're just like, that's just drawn really well. My favorite moment is a full spread. It's okay. First, you see this guy in a in a in a um, in a fish shop, right? He's just cutting fish, and then he looks and he sees on this on the news that, and it says oh, Aquaman is back from the dead, and this guy just says to him, wow. Aquaman's back. And then this guy grabs his knife, slits the throat of the guy, and kills everyone in the store. Then you see him blowing up his house, and he's walking into the water. And next we see it's Black Manta. And it's a full parade spread of Black Manta in all of his evil glory, I guess. Um, you know, honestly, I don't know that much about Aquaman or Aquaman comics, but I know about Black Manta. And that was a really, really well-drawn... Uh, part on Black Manta. Um, if there's anything I didn't really care for for this book, uh, it would be I don't know. I, Hawkman and Hawkgirl's character uh, arc is a little odd. I'm not, I'm not really getting into it. And same with John Jones, you know the Martian Manhunter. I'm just like like I get what he what he's wanting to do with Mars. It's okay, but this green Martian that's been around since before John Jones, I just find that. I don't know, why wouldn't it have revealed itself a lot sooner? But either way, this book is a very fun book. I mean, as I said, the art is pretty darn good, and it does have some pretty good character moments. But it is mainly just a setup book, and not much of story is really told. Now, that isn't bad, because, I mean, you have to set up the characters and the arcs that they are all going to go on. And in a normal comic stretch, that you might leave an issue for setup, and the rest is it. it. But, you know, since this is a much larger story, I don't know how many volumes it's going to go through before it's done. Um, you know, you, mean, you might need a bigger setup story. You might need, not, might need to be bigger because there's lots more happening. So I'm going to give Brightest Day, Volume 1, 6.5 out of 10. So thanks for watching. Remember, I'm LazyD99, and if I don't like it, it's not worth it. See you around. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel, and wait for more coming soon.